It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thomas was pulling Annie and Clarabelle. It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor until he got to the bridge and Kevin was there blocking it. Hey, Thomas. It's me, Kevin. I'm sorry, I can't let you go by. The bridge is under construction. Haven't you heard? Oh, Kevin, that's a shame. I was hoping I could get across that bridge. I have some cargo I need to deliver. How long is the bridge going to be out for? Well, well, Thomas, it's, it's probably going to be down for at least the next four hours to 19 days is what I've heard, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you're going to have to back up, though. Sorry about that. Thomas heeded Kevin's advice and started to back up, but he realized that he forgot something, and as he went back to speak with Kevin, something bad happened. The bridge went out and Thomas fell. Oh, no! Kevin heard Thomas's cries for help and quickly decided to check it out. <gasps> when he got to the scene, he saw that Thomas had fallen off of the bridge. Oh, 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 oh Thomas! Oh, Thomas, are you okay? Thomas, speak to me! It's me, Kevin Thomas! Yes, I will come on. Uh, Jumping on the bridge. Kevin, is, is that you? Said Thomas. <laughs> I, I hear somebody, but I also see a bright white light. I'm not going to the light. I might want to, but I'm trying not to. Please send help, please. Oh, Thomas, I hear you. Oh, I'm gonna go get help right now. You just stay where you're at. Don't try to do anything. And Kevin decided to back away to get Thomas help as quickly as he could. Meanwhile, James was having a nice little stroll through Sodor. He was really excited because he had some time to kind of relax, but all of a sudden, he came across Thomas, who was laying on the side of the track. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, said James. Oh, is that is that my friend Thomas? All of a sudden, James got whisked away by a tornado. Unfortunately, James wasn't going to be much of a help, but thank goodness Kevin was still looking for help. All of a sudden, he came across Reneas. Oh, oh, Reneas, thank goodness it's you, said Kevin. Oh, you won't believe what happened. Thomas fell off a bridge. I need help. Well, do you think you can help me? In an effort to expedite getting to Thomas as quickly as he could, Kevin backed up, grabbed Reneas, and they went off to find Thomas and provide some help. Yep, this is pretty bad, said Reneas. But I have an idea. The first thing we need to do is fix the bridge, and I know just how to do it. Reneas quickly backed away so we could get to the bottom of the bridge. Reneas went to the bottom of the bridge and quickly was able to hoist it back up. He fixed it quicker than anyone thought he could. Now that the bridge was fixed, Kevin was able to get through, attach himself to Thomas, fix him, and ride him on the track. Thomas was ready to go in no time. Once Thomas felt better, he had an opportunity to thank both of his friends. Oh my goodness, Reneas and Kevin, thank you so much for saving me. It was so scary to fall off the bridge, but here I am in one piece, and it's all thanks to both of you. It was our pleasure, Thomas, said Kevin and Reneas. What are friends for? If you're in trouble, we're only a couple blocks away to get you out and make sure you're safe. And that is the end of another full wonderful day on the island of Sodor. We forgot to mention that the inhabitants of Sodor decided to have a dance party to celebrate Thomas's rescue.
And we don't want the uh, inhabitants of the island of Sonora to hurt themselves. That was the end. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you wave? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you wave? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you wave? Bye-bye. <laughs>